Hi, I'm Ruth. And I'm Brenton. We've got two exciting guests with us today, Ruth. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk to Pastor Richard Mansfield about a brand new college, Christian College Campus, awesome. that his church is hosting here in Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. And also, we're going to be talking to Moises, uh, who is going to be sharing with us about the KAZQ Golf Tournament Our coming up. Our third annual golf tournament, and there's still time for you to get involved. So call in the station, listen for details, and you're not going to want to miss it. We're privileged to have with us today Pastor Richard Mansfield, but Pastor Richard is going to be talking to us not so much about New Beginnings Church, but Pastor, something new that's coming to the city of Albuquerque entitled the Mansfield School of Professional Studies. Welcome to Spectrum. Well, thank you. It's always a joy to be here with you, Pastor Franks, and uh, yeah, some really neat things are taking place. Well, tell us a little bit about the uh, Mansfield School of Professional Studies and I understand that it is connected with uh, a university that's based out of Oklahoma City called Mid-American Christian University. Kind of tell us a little bit about that connectivity. You know, uh, Mid-America Christian University actually started in Texas in 1951 okay. in Houston, Texas. It was called South Texas Bible Institute. Changed its name to Gulf Coast Bible College, and uh, I'm an alumni of there. And then in 1984, uh, the campus didn't have any more room to grow, so they did a study and they found that uh, Oklahoma City is kind of the middle of America, hmm. and they moved it to Oklahoma City in 1984 and opened up all the classes in 1985. It's been there ever since. Um, it's had four presidents since its conception, and it's just a really fast-growing university. It offers 149 uh, degrees that you can get from that university. Now I'm assuming it's a Christian university. It is. It's a Christian university. So everyone that graduates from Mid America graduates with uh, two majors. You definitely graduate with whatever your study is, sure. and then you get a Bible degree as well. Uh, and it's really amazing. So you have an associate's, you have a bachelor's, you have master's degree that you could get there. And so we have been partnered with them over the years and do some things together, but uh, they honored my wife and I with naming a school after us called the Mansfield School of Professional Studies, which is now offering classes, and those classes are continued education uh, credits, or CEUs, continued education units, and uh, it's a five-week course you could take, and they're really amazing. You get a certificate program, but those that want to get a, a full you know, degree, they can do that as well. Can they do it at the local campus in Albuquerque, or is that something that they can do at the university in Oklahoma City? What they're going to be doing, they could, they could do them either, we're going to have a, a space in our new facility there at 4770 Montgomery, uh, where they could take classes there, they can take classes online, and uh, we've been doing the online already. We've had, at our very first class, we had uh, 50 students. That's great. Uh, and, and they went through uh, Wesleyan theology, uh, one and two. So it was a part one and two. Then we had the Fidgetal Church uh, teaching, how are they going to unite the physical church and then the digital church? Because the Fidgetal. The Fidgetal. <laughs> and, uh, and, and it's never going to be the same. As yeah. you and I were talking just before we started, that there's so many people following online, and that's probably going to be the, the deal from now. And yet, there's still a physical factor that I encourage people to stay involved physically sure, in absolutely. their church because we need the fellowship. We need the hugs and touch and interaction with, uh, with people. But anyway, we studied about that. Uh, there's... A, a prayer component they could study about and on and on. So we're adding more and more classes every uh, class. So tell us a little bit about the certificate program. I mean, I've, I've heard of, of certificate programs before, but 
That's not exactly the same as a degree program, is it? Can you give us the difference? That's correct. Okay. A certificate program is someone that wants to take deeper studies. They want to take university level studies, but they really don't have maybe the funds or they don't feel like, I don't know if I want to take it for credit. I got you. I, I want to take it for audit. So they take these classes, they're university level classes or university level taught classes because some could take it for credit, others are taking it just for audit, meaning they don't have to do all the tests, they don't have to do, uh, they do some of the work, uh, some work is required if you're going to get a certificate, uh, and then if you're taking it for credit, well, then all the work and all the tests are required. Mm -hmm. But people are able to walk away going, man, I really have a much deeper understanding of this subject. I really have gotten away. And then for some that are in, in their career path, have to take continued education units periodically to just uh, stay on top of their game and to just get additional education so they're able to, to satisfy that. Okay, so as New Beginnings and specifically New Beginnings as a church, I assume is hosting the Mansfield School of Professional Studies there. As that's working, let's say somebody is saying, well, you know, man, I really would like to get a degree, a degree from, from a Christian university. Um, Albuquerque is not really blessed with a Christian university campus here. Right. So can they do that through through the uh, op opportunities that you have, or would they have to yeah, well, physically go to a different place? No, what they did, they like we have three now that from our congregation that started off with the digital classes, and they said, man, pastor, I really need to finish my degree. One had never even started a university, and okay. she started, but... One is finishing up her degree, so she already had just, she was shy 30 hours, and she is now in the classroom. She's taking classes online, and then uh, she'll be going to the actual campus uh, the last, uh, the last, I think it's the last three hours of her studies. So there's some requirement so, on campus, but correct. most of it's... Uh, but most distance. of it's here, distance learning, correct. Tell us about some of the degrees being offered then locally. I mean, that's pretty exciting stuff. You know what? Uh, I mean, people could get, uh, the university offers 149 de degrees. But locally, they're able to get any kind of Bible degree they want. So they okay. could be uh, from pastoral studies to uh, pastoral care to youth pastor, children's pastor, uh, just a different teaching pastor and what have you. They could get degrees in uh, social work, uh, psychology, and they can get degrees. So there, there's really a vast number of degrees that they could get. And we're going to actually have someone from the university with us uh, just right around the corner to be able to really explain all the possibilities that you would have to study. Okay, so if this is like a, a full uh, four-year degree, uh, is it accredited? Absolutely. Okay, it is an accredited it, it degree. It is an accredited university with the uh, highest accreditation you could get within the education system. Right, and there's record, uh, different recognition groups that do the accreditation. So a regular degree, even if it's in Bible, typically has some, some core courses, like I would assume like English, English math, correct, and correct. history. Do those kind of things still follow along? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, the, this one lady that just is finishing her career, she had studied with uh, UNM, and she even studied at CNM, and now they, she transferred everything. I think it was something like 95% of her classes wow. transferred over. Well, that was going to be my question. Yeah. Is there transferability? Is, because a lot of people might have started at, the, you know, at CNM or the University of New Mexico or somewhere else. I mean, there's different places. Sure. And they might say, hey, I would like to transfer those. And you hate to lose all that time, so they can transfer a lot of those credits Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Yeah, that, that's, that's pretty ex exciting. Yeah. Pretty impressive stuff. Costs, scholarships, you know what, those the, things available? They're, they're, for costs for the, for if you're going to just take the classes like the for the certificate, it's $99 a course. Oh. And there's even scholarships for that. So there have been $50 scholarships a year, out of pocket $49, and, and then you have to buy your own book if a book's required or right. what have you. Right. But, uh, but if, if you're going to be taking uh, college credits, um, the cost is so phenomenal, especially for a Christian private university. Mm -hmm. It's probably one of the most affordable universities that is out there right now. And so you can get information about that. Do you have any... 
like uh, information meetings or uh, you know what thank you for asking coming because out? august the 15th which is a sunday at 12 30 in the afternoon okay so most people are out of church by then and there's going to be a meeting at new beginnings church uh you could just call the office and sign up and uh let us know you're coming they're going to be providing lunch and then you'll be able to hear all the different opportunities that are available uh, even for your congregation, that they might be able to work some things out to be able to offer some scholarships for the local congregations. So pastors send someone out, uh, mm -hmm. that way they could find out more about it. But also any individual that is looking to study in a Christian setting, and they'll be able to come out and find out more information. Is there, you know, uh, Brother Richard, before we, we leave, Pastor, what are some of the things, uh, is there any interaction with other people? Because you know, one thing that sometimes makes education a little easier is that you actually get to compare notes and have study yeah. groups and stuff like that. Is there anything, are, are there other people taking classes or are you just kind of your own guy in your own little cubicle doing your thing? When, when you're taking classes, especially on the online, you're doing it via Zoom. Okay. So you're looking at, you know, I mean, you, there's 50 people uh, max that they allow for okay. class. And so you've got most of them on there. So you get to see who's part of your congregation because there was other congregations that took place uh, have already participated. Right. So, but, but those people started study groups. They studied, uh, started uh, some coffee groups. Some were doing it from the church sure. so that they could all be in the same classroom together, projected up on a big screen and they could sit there together. So there's of, a lot of possibilities. Lot of possibilities, that's great. Well, don't forget the event that's coming up on the 15th of August, 1230 in the afternoon. That's great. New Beginnings Church. Thank you so much. Pastor. Thank you so much for having us. Watch the Daystar Network 24 hours a day on KAZQ 32.5. Well, today we want to really focus our attention on the fact that Alpha Omega Broadcasting is viewer supported. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are here, have been here for, my goodness, Ruth, nearly 34 years. Uh, this was a that vision amazing? that uh, Pastor Ray Franks, my dad, uh, began back in the 1980s and, and got involved with and began to build uh, Alpha Omega Broadcasting which now reaches throughout most of New Mexico up into Southwest Colorado and Northeast Arizona. We're here to provide family programming, uh, inspirational programming and educational programming and uh, to do so from a different perspective than a lot of the mainstream media. We though are supported through viewers like yourself and we wanna say a big thank you to every person who on a monthly basis drops a check in the mail, gives online, gives uh, with a recurring donation, you are making a difference in making this possible. There are different ways for you to connect with us, of course. We invite you to visit our website at kazq32.org. You can find a program guide there. You can also find how to give online safely and securely. If you'd like to call into the station, you can do that at 505-884-8355, extension 101, to speak to someone. If you have a donation ready and like to mail it in, you can do that to 4501 Montgomery Boulevard Northeast, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87109. It's an honor and a privilege every time you allow us to come into your home. And just like we share educational and family programming, the most important is to be a light and to share the love of Jesus to each of you in your home. Wherever you are, you may be feeling lonely, you may be feeling like no one's there, but I guarantee you God is right there. He's only a prayer away if you will just say a prayer and call out to Him. If you ever need someone to talk to, call into the station and we'll return your call and one of us will call and pray with be our honor to do that and introduce you to Jesus Christ and help you on your journey as you begin that. Thank you so much. Watch Jimmy Swagger and the Sun Life Network 24 hours a day on KAZQ 32.3. privilege to have with us today Moises Ancira, who is the Director of Development for Alpha Omega Broadcasting. Uh, Moises, I know that you are uh, involved in a, a special event that Alpha Omega Broadcasting is involved uh, with putting on. Tell us what's coming. I know there's a golf tournament on the horizon. Tell us about it. There is a golf tournament. It is coming up August the 28th. Uh, it's our third annual. We've had two other ones. 
We didn't have one last year because of uh, the lockdown, but you know, uh, we're excited to have our third annual golf tournament here for KZQ. Well, since we're three years in, uh, tell us about some of the memories, the, the high points from the prior two. The, the first one, was it a nine or an 18 hole? What was the second one? What's the third one gonna be? Give us some detail. Well, the first annual one was a nine hole. That went pretty good. That was at Arroyo del Oso. Okay. We did it there. And then last, uh, in 2019, we had our second annual golf tournament. That was at uh, Los Altos Golf Course. And now this year, we'll be at Los Altos Golf Course and too. And is this an 18 or a 9 An 18 hole, hole uh, shotgun start for everybody. But Tell us uh, some of the high points. I mean, you know, has anybody, do you guys do anything where there's a, special prizes or anything of that nature? There is, well, 2019 we had over 50 golfers. So that was pretty good. I think the first golf tournament we had like 30, but okay. then we got 20 more. So I'm hoping we get another 20 more, you know, sure. this year. And we had like 27 holes sponsored uh, for the 2019. But uh, yeah, we have a grand prize. One of the, there's three uh, par three holes there at Los Altos and uh, each one comes with the price if you make a hole in one. Okay. So the grand prize is $25,000, cash prize. Uh, the next one is uh, two round trip tickets. Uh, the next one is some Callaway Golf Cups okay. uh, that you can win. So, and okay. then the other prize, is, well, there's four holes. Uh, the next one is the, uh, a big screen TV. Wow. So, Have you had anybody hit a hole in one at any of your uh, prior tournaments? I have not. <laughs> Okay. No, the well, 2019 so. was the first time we ever did the uh, price. The oh, okay. So, so if nobody hit it that time, so maybe we'll get a golfer this year that can hit it. Well, yeah, so. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put this out there. I hit a hole in one at Los Altos, but it wasn't on the main course. It was on the executive <laughs> course. <laughs> uh, I was a witness to that too. You were. Yeah, you because know, I was I have there. Someone to attest to my. But you know, it's kind of like this. They say even a blind squirrel finds a nut every <laughs> once in a while, and. I feel like uh, in golf, I am truly a blind squirrel. Out I haven't there. found that one yet. So <laughs> <laughs> I was there when uh, Galen Sheldon hit a hole in one too, and then you hit a hole in one. But so you've I have seen never two. hit one. Well, what's the purpose of this tournament? Why, why do we uh, have one here at Alpha Media Broadcasting? Tell well, us. Well, you know, it's just to uh, promote uh, KZQ Channel 32 with family programming, buying family programming. And also, it's a fundraiser to buy equipment. Uh, you know the microwave and any of the equipment that we need here at KZQ. It's just a upgrades. fundraiser upgrades for any equipment that we need here at KZQ. And you know, the television equipment, when we say a microwave, a lot of our minds go to, hey, I've got a microwave in my uh, kitchen. <laughs> We're talking about a different kind of microwave that transmits signal, RF signal, uh, to, to the top of Sandia Crest from the studio. And you have, you know, it's quite a distance. It's many miles. Mm -hmm. And uh, those things have to be transported from this, it's called an STL link studio to transmit your link. And mm -hmm. so those things have to be maintained. And we, uh, we've been working on a backup system and that's uh, been just finally arrived. But we still have to deal with installation. You have to have tower climbers. You have, there's all sorts of things that are there. They do this. What do you think will make this year bigger, better, faster, stronger? I mean, we're still coming out of, of, a, of a pandemic, and I, you know, bluntly, it's been a little bit slow rise, hasn't it? It has been, you know, because uh, the small businesses in 2019, they'll say, yeah, we'll get, we'll do a, like I say, we had 27 holes sponsored. It's $250 to sponsor a hole. And, you know, we were able to get out there and say, okay, would you like to sponsor a hole? And they were out there, okay, I will do it. But, you know, most of the business, small businesses were closed last year. So, you know, mm -hmm. they weren't able to make any money or they were close their doors. But, you know, I'm hoping this year that we can get some excitement in there. There's already been some excitement already. So, uh, you know, we'll continue on with that hole in one prize and hopefully somebody will win it. You know, it's just the thought of, you know, you buy a, a lottery ticket, you say, okay, maybe I'll win that, you know, <laughs> today's my day and, you know, today. I, I will <laughs> tell you that to hit a, a hole in one on a par three, um, is not necessary. I mean, you'd have you have to be did a hole in one anyway. You have to <laughs> things have to be going in your favor. Let's just put yes, it that way. Yes. The ball has to be in your exact right spot at the right time. I think so. that hole in one that has the twenty five thousand dollar price, it is over two hundred yards. I think so. It is out there. Yeah, it's it's a waste. So, eh, but it's fine. Hey, you never know. You never know. Maybe you could be like I was that one day and be that blind squirrel. You know, I don't know. It, it'll be your day. Well, well, tell us what's the date for the tournament. The big thing right now 
Are you looking for business sponsors? Are you looking for golfers? Are you looking for both? We're looking for both. You know, uh, business sponsors, they want to come along. It's August the 28th uh, this month at Los Altos at 8 o'clock in the morning. So okay. we're going we're gonna to do it there. But, you know, we're always looking for sponsors. You know, you can, how you can get involved if you're not a golfer, you can always be a business sponsor. There's three levels. There's can you a, be a personal sponsor? Maybe somebody would like to sponsor a hole for $250 or it's 500 or 1000 right? Those 1, are three The levels. diamond is 1000 The pearl is 500 And then your hole sponsor is the 250 Okay. I had just somebody the other day just send me a check for $500 and say, hey, I want to sponsor my grandson and another golfer. And that's what you do for the pearl. You sponsor uh, two golfers. Uh, you get a hole sponsored and you get the, the luncheon. There's a luncheon right after a ceremony that we hand out the first prize and to the team that won the first prize sure. and stuff. So it'll be a good day. I think it'll be a good day. If somebody's watching and would like to sign up a team, can they go to the website? Do they give you a call? What's the easiest they way to do it? Give me a call. Uh, my direct line at my desk is 505-883-1300, extension 108. Uh, and also they can send me an email, moises at kezq32.org. All right, so you still have about a month to plan for this. We might even talk to you a little bit more about it as we get closer, but mm -hmm. now is the time. Uh, if you just want to come and play, the cost to just be a player who signs up, how much is that? Is $80. Okay, and that's for 18 holes. That right. includes the cart? That includes the cart and, you know, the luncheon afterwards. Does it and include any, uh, like, range balls? I, I'm pretty sure, yes. I think it, because okay. that 2019 we had range balls. So do you want to show up about 7.15, something like that? Hit a couple of balls, get warmed up, you know, dream about hitting the 25,000, and then <laughs> hit the links. <laughs> you know, it's a great time to find. It and is. And fellowship, and you don't have to be a great golfer. You can be like me, very amateurish. But it's fun to play and to, and to, to just get out there with some friends. And, you know, it's been a, a nice year in terms of uh, getting a, a good amount of rain here in the city, and that always mm -hmm. helps the courses to green up. Right. You're outdoor in a very park-like environment. You get to be out with other uh, wonderful folks, Christian folks, people maybe from your, from your church or people maybe from your business, and, and, uh, and get to meet other people who are, are out there. Um, when, when things are taking place like this, uh, and maybe they're saying, hey, you know, I'd like to support the, the station or the tournament, but I don't golf, how, how can you do that? I could say you could be a sponsor. You okay. You could be just like uh, the woman that sent me that check. She said, I just want to, you know, she doesn't golf, but she wanted to sponsor her son, her grandson. Okay. So or you can just say, hey, I'm going to send this money, and I'm going to sponsor a golfer. Or, okay. Or you can just send a donation for you can 80 send an $80 donation, yes. and somebody else can I, go out and play, yeah. and that could be your, your way of participating. Exactly. And that's kind of nice, because occasionally... You know, it's uh, we've come across folks who'd say, I'd, I'd play, but I just, I don't have the money to, to cover the expenses. $80, I mean, it's, you know, that's not a lot to play 18 holes of golf and have all the things supplied, but still $80. So if, if you can make a difference in somebody else, that'd be great. Right. The people who show up on the 28th, that is a Saturday morning, Saturday morning. what time do they get there? 7, 7.15, you know. Because that way you can go get your range balls and you can go out there and practice and, and get ready. We might have some breakfast for you out there. So that's mm. another motivator to get out there at 7 o'clock in the morning. Sure. Breakfast burrito or something. We'll then have you, get your, you get your cart. You get your cart because we'll have them all labeled with you everybody's You have a little goodie stuff. bag, don't you? you give we do also have a gift bag for every golfer that shows up. So that has a lot of stuff in it. You and, know? you know, I, I, having participated in the past, there was like a, a, a you know, one year there was a golf glove in there. And mm -hmm. there was, and balls, the sleeve of balls, tees, sunscreen. I think we had some uh, lip <laughs> lip balm. Know. We had stuff in there, so yeah. Yeah, a lot of fun. It'd be a good day. That, yeah, One had a frisbee good. in there too. They gave us some frisbees, some small little frisbees. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how, how that applies to golf, but you know, well, there's, maybe when you're out there on the course and you, if you're you're lost out in the trees, you can disco. just throw a, throw a frisbee and kind of encourage yourself a little bit. Don't forget the uh, KAZQ 30 annual golf tournament coming up on August the 28th. It will start at 8 in the morning. You need to be there by 7. Uh, to play is about $80. $80. And uh, to sponsor a whole starts at $250. goes all the way up to 1000 Churches, individuals, and businesses are encouraged. Thanks so much, Moses, for bringing us up to date. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ethel Mahard, and I'm the Executive Director of Right to Life Committee of New Mexico. And we just love for you to come and join us on our new program, Let's Roll. It's going to be airing on Wednesdays at 9.30 p.m., 
as well as Saturdays at 8 p.m. in case you miss Wednesday's feature. So please come and join us and have some fun with us. We have a great time, so we look forward to seeing you then on Wednesdays at 9.30 p.m. and Saturdays at 8 p.m. There's some good interviews today, a lot of fun mm -hmm. to, to kind of bring us up to speed on a couple of different topics. You know, as we're moving into the month of August, uh, we would like to invite you to some special events at Evangel Christian Center. You know, on Fridays, we are going to be having some special things. This Friday night, we have a prayer and praise night. Uh, starts at 7 o'clock till 8 o'clock. We're mm -hmm. going to be focusing attention on worshiping the Lord and praying for an hour. And Important. I would really encourage you to be with us here at Evangel uh, and, and join in with us. I love our praise and prayer nights when we have them. They're a great time to just focus on the Lord and also corporate prayer. Mm -hmm. um, very powerful and something that we need in our life is just to come together and seek the Lord together. Now there's something else special coming on August 27th. Many of you are probably familiar with the Music City Show, which uh, airs, I believe it's on Friday nights, uh, Saturday nights, Saturday nights, excuse me. Uh, you, uh, with Jim Sheldon and great yes. music, he is gonna be coming to Albuquerque, to Evangel <laughs> Christian Center on Friday night, August 27th, seven o'clock. We're gonna enjoy him being with us. It's gonna be a great time as uh, he shares with us. So you don't wanna yeah. miss out on that. Um, that's coming a few weeks away. We actually interviewed him, if many of you remember, hopefully you watched that program when he was in town. Yes. And um, just, a, just a wonderful, humble, gentle, very sincere man and a great singer, vocalist yep. in the program. If you've watched it, you have been blessed by that program. Well, he will be with us on that Friday night. So we are very excited about that. Also, we have a movie coming up. That's one of the things we're doing yes. on Friday night. So the month of August are like family fun nights that we are right yeah, putting really, together. Really focusing on fellowship and community. Mm -hmm. So th are, and that's coming up on the 20th. The movie. 20th of August. Right. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I wanted to clarify. Jim Sheldon is Friday nights with Music City Show. Not Saturday. Oh, okay. I, I kind of just tell you what? It, for, it's Friday night. So don't miss out on watching we him. We forgive and then you. Coming and being with us mm -hmm. on a Friday night. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun things coming. Hope that yeah. you will plug in, join with Ruth and I at Evangel Christian Center, 4501 Montgomery Boulevard, Northeast corner of Montgomery and Jefferson, two services on Sunday mornings, 9, 10, 45, and of course, join us on Friday nights at seven o'clock as well. Until next time, have a blessed day in the Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks for being with us today.